Hi everyone, Ali Janes here. This past weekend I played an assassin, had three auditions, celebrated a friend's birthday, and went to a Golden Globes party. That's a pretty great weekend. She can't cook, she can't clean, she enjoys the fun of things in life. Saturday, I filmed day two of the web series in which I play an assassin. We were on location at a cow and horse farm way east of Los Angeles. It was full on country out there. I had horses in junior high and high school, so I'm pretty comfortable on a farm, but it was a little weird going back into that environment, not having experienced it in a while. Also, cows are way smellier than horses. On this particular farm, there was a whole menagerie of animals, including cats and dogs and ducks, even a goat who wandered around and got into things as goats are wont to do. In the web series, the farm serves as a sort of body disposal depot, if you will. So we filmed several scenes where we carried around bodies to various parts of the farm and dropped them off. All bad people, of course. <laughs> In addition to lugging dead people around, I also got to do some stunt falls. There were two separate scenes that called for my character to fall face first into cow poo. Thankfully, the director substituted brownie mix for cow poo. Let me tell you, I was so excited when I learned that I would be falling face first into brownie mix. I thought, this is gonna be the most delicious day Ever. But sadly, once you pour brownie mix onto farm dirt, which is comprised of all sorts of icky goo, and then fall face first into it, it just becomes this big massive blob of chocolatey, dirty, grassy goo. Really more crunchy than delicious. Thankfully, the wife of one of the producers made the cast some chocolate chip cookies, and that was a win. I had one of the most fun auditions this last week. They just had us laugh for like two or three minutes straight. We had to start out very serious, and then pretend that something caused us to burst into laughter. <laughs> And then we had to laugh and giggle <laughs> and pretend we were trying to stop laughing, <laughs> but we couldn't, so keep laughing. <laughs> it was actually a really terrific workout too. My abs were so sore after that. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you're having a bad day, <laughs> you should force yourself to laugh for a couple minutes straight. It's seriously hard not to be happy after that. <laughs> My favorite brooding man, Colin Firth, got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame this week. I did not go. Why not? Because I'm an idiot. No, you an idiot? Yep. Why are you an idiot? Because I got up late, which didn't leave me enough time to primp and drive there and then find parking in what I'm sure was a zoo, I totally missed my chance to meet him. Now, how will I ever get him to marry me? What? He's already married, you say? And he adores his wife? <sighs> Fine. Clearly, he does not know what he's missing. The Golden Globes were held this past weekend. I do not have a TV, so I did not watch them, but I did follow their progress on Twitter, where everyone was gabbing about them. My favorite, Colin Firth, won Best Actor. I haven't seen most of the movies nominated yet because they've only just come to my local cheapy theater, but I'm most excited to see The Black Swan and The King's Speech. Also much discussed was Ricky Gervais's performance as host. I read some of his jokes online and a couple of them seemed a little harsh, but that stuff is all in the delivery and not having seen it performed live, I really can't judge his performance. It will be interesting to see how it all shakes out though. Will he be asked to host next year? Will he ever be offered any roles in film or TV in Hollywood ever again? Which brings us to my question of the week. What did you think of Ricky Gervais's Golden Globes hosting performance? Leave a comment or video response below. Later lovelies. Fun fact, my normal temperature is about a degree and a half lower than 98.6. So much like a reptile, it's a lot harder for me to stay warm. Blech. Too bad reptiles are so icky or we could totally hang out together. As for nicknames that I've given, my pets get the worst of it. Their nicknames are continually evolving. Maxwell used to be called Booger because he has a brown little spot of fur right here. It's silly. Oh.